Ricky Carter, the Silver Man, is a well-known figure in the East Midlands. For many years he's performed as a human statue in the city centres of Leicester, Nottingham and Loughborough. At around 6'4", he's lanky, with long hair which, when coated in silver paint, is reminiscent of a wire brush. I spoke to him as he stood on Clumber Street on a summery Saturday in Nottingham. Why don't we start with how long you've been doing this work? I became the silver man in 2012. Okay. And I started being a, a living statue in 2011. And I was a gold man in 2011. So, what made you swap from gold to silver? Silver seems to be better for me. Uh, I seem to do better as a silver man than that than as opposed to the gold man. Better as in more, more money coming in? Or? Uh, yeah, yeah. And what what do you use to create the silver man image? Because your your skin is completely coated. I use silver paint. Okay. Is it special body paint? Or? No, it's just normal light paint, but it is decorative paint. It's not proper spray paint. Okay. Uh, does that have any negative effects on your skin? No, not really, because it's, it's not it's not it's not proper spray. Paint. It's like a uh, ornamental paint or spraying ornament. And how long does it take to apply each day? Half oh, an hour, maybe 45 minutes. Okay, so that's, that's a decent amount of time. What about coming off? Like, how, do, how long does this last? Well, I, I, don't, I don't tend to wash it off that often, but it can take up to two hours to get it all out, especially getting it all out of my hair. So will you sometimes paint yourself and then stay like that for a few days? Yeah, yeah. I normally leave it in my hair. And how did you learn how to be... Uh, the gold man or the silver man. Did you know someone else who did this or did you learn about it online? My mum was the one who was talking about the statue in England. She put the idea in my head about that it could be a good way to do this and a good way to money. So she saw them and said that's something you could try? She didn't mention it, she mentioned it to me and um, and I decided to make this costume for Christmas. Right. Yeah. I wanted to make a really bright, glittery costume for Christmas. So I, I got a uh, set of trousers and a suit, and I, I, a shirt, and I covered them in glue and glitter. And I made a like gold coloured glitter costume. Oh, wow. Um, and then I, 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 I decided to paint my, my face and my hair gold. And, and then I worked. I worked with the gold man um, for the uh, Christmas. Christmas. I think it was the uh, Christmas 2011. So, if you weren't doing this, what would your dream job be? You serious? Yeah, yeah. I'd like to know. What's your dream job? If you could do anything. I I had two jobs in mind which uh, I wanted to do. Ten years about. Years ago, so I either wanted to be a model or I wanted to work in the other entertainment industry. Do you think interest in those areas led to doing what you do now because you are performing? I went from being a steel man because I wanted to do this as a way to make an income, but this wasn't really a path. I wanted to do something that's better. Do you think you're going to carry on doing this forever, or is there a cutoff point for you? I, I, I think my cutoff point from being a silver man was when I'm going to pay clear my debt on the 2000. Even when he's not in performance mode, many people stop to look at or talk to him. It's not clear if this is due to his fame or his infamy. Ricky tells me that he does get a lot of attention, but not all of it is good. What's the worst thing that someone said to you or done to you on the street? Uh, some homeless guy, uh, some beggar in Leicester, uh, basically uh, accused me of raping his daughter and was basically telling people that I was 
that I've raped this is 14 year old daughter and was basically saying was telling people that, that I'm, I'm an abuser man and was basically saying he was going to kill me. Wow. He, he chased me out of Leicester and I, I luckily I managed to get out of Leicester that night but, but it, it was kind of a dangerous situation. You know. How did you get out of Leicester? I managed to get on the bus home but he did unfortunately end up walking off with all my money because that's the only way he, he was supposed to leave me alone. And why do you think he said that? I don't know why he said that. Have you met his daughter? I don't, I don't know the guy. I don't know why he said that. So just a stranger you've never seen before, don't know his daughter, started saying that about you? Yeah. To your face? Yeah. And you had to run away and leave your money behind? Yeah. Well, he took my money. I and so, and, and basically said that he, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. I'm lucky, I'm not, you know, not, not, I'm lucky that he's just walking away because he's just saying he's going to beat me up. Um, that sounds very scary. Yeah, it was. This story was quite startling to hear, but apparently it wasn't the first or the last time that Ricky's had allegations thrown at him. He explained to me that he's been struggling with the ABCs. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, basically, A is for um, A is allegations, B is bullying, and C is community and problems in the community. A, B, C. Right. And in what in what sense are you having problems with those? Those are the problems I've got in my, at the moment in my life with people in the community and they're on social media. Which social media particularly? Facebook mainly. People just making stuff up just to try and get some social media attention and to, get, and to make me look bad. What kind of things are people making up? Well, the other day, for example, some woman made up a story accusing me of following her and talking her that I'd never even seen before, making out that I was a stalker when I wasn't. So at what point do you, do you become aware of these? Does she say it to you or does she say it online? She said it on uh, Facebook, named to... Uh, because um, she don't like me, and because I um, because I posted a um, reposted a picture of her on Facebook, and she didn't like it, and made a story about me. And why were you posting a picture of her? Um, because I had a dream about a woman with black hair, and in my dream, and I was having a long chat with her, and I saw this woman with black hair, and we posted a picture. Of her. And where did you see that picture? Where did it come from? On social media. Okay, so you reposted someone you saw on social media saying you look like someone I saw in a dream. Yeah. She was not. As that van rumbled past us, Ricky told me that he was sure the girl in question was in her 20s. This seemed like a strange detail to focus on at the time. But his reason for emphasising it became clear when he explained some of the other allegations that have been made on social media. But unfortunately, um, people have been less like, less wanting to be money before, because of what everyone's done. And what is that? Basically, I'm basically not. Okay. Those are quite serious allegations. But now it's all going out all around the room and it's really affected my reputation and my reputation. So where are those allegations being aired? Is that a police complaint or is that just online? Online. On Facebook. Social media. And what are they based on? Yes. Some pictures in that that um, somebody got hold of who uh, hacked into my, who got my password, who I gave my password to, who was sending to me Facebook, got into my, my Facebook account and, and my, my Twitter account and changed the password and then managed to get hold of all my pictures and then the person pretended to be me on my, in my hacked account. And started spreading all my pictures all over the place. And how did that lead to those allegations? 
that person was pretending to be me on my Facebook account and was sending inappropriate pictures of me out with this and talking to me. And, 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 that, and that's what happened. And um, have you been to the police about that? I did, and they told me I had to contact Facebook and that Facebook would have to sort it out. But the police aren't interested in pursuing you based on those allegations. No. Okay. How does that feel to you? Do you feel vindicated for, this, for that reason? I feel um, angry because somebody has, has ruined the ruined my reputation. It's, it's basically tried, tried to destroy my life and try to get me in, into it. Trying to make me out to do something and not get me in serious trouble from what they did. Do you know who this person was? No, I don't. All I know is that they were just holding in the bar and then basically asking my customer and said they were faithful. Do you have any suspicions who it was? I don't know. I, know, I, I would say they were probably in their 20s, but other than that, I don't know. There's no one who you think would have a reason for wanting to do that? Not that I can think of. Ricky was obviously right to say that these accusations had spread across social media because a member of the public brought them up a little while later. Are there any questions you'd like to ask the Silverman? Well, there's the alleged uh, allegations of him sending his new pictures to a 12 year old. So I'd like you to. Have to no, I don't. No. I'd like to like get a bit more backstory on that. So, do you have any comments? I don't know what you're on about. What do you want? Well, you have social media, right? I don't really use it. Oh, no, I don't media. want it. I'm saying you saw the No, no, I genuinely don't use it. Yeah. So you don't know about the allegations? Well, I know what Ricky's told me today. He didn't have much to say beyond denying the accusations. But perhaps not everyone that had heard the allegations necessarily believed them. No, 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 I appreciate you, Ricky. I believe the same thing she told me. She'd kicked over the can of Wilco's silver paint that sat next to the celebrations tub that Ricky used to collect donations. Everyone else is taking the piss out of you. I actually love you. I see you on TikTok all the time. And I just think... I think, like, you're doing strong, you're still here, keep doing well. Because I'm in a really dark mindset right now, and I feel like my boyfriend doesn't love me. But I'm here, and I'm still thriving, because you know what? It gets better. It gets you better for my say, friend. You keep doing it, I don't know what I am like saying it. this from my head. It gets yeah. better for my friend, so it'll get better for you. And I wish you the best, because I think you're a deep, good person deep down inside. Strong words, but difficult to take seriously as she bent over laughing halfway through. You got my joke off, but I like you like that. Like, you've got a dark story. I don't want you killing people, but like, you know, I just... I apologise. As our interview concluded, I wasn't sure if I knew that much more about the man beneath the silver paint. If anything, our conversation had just brought up new, darker questions. Even the silver man himself seemed uncertain about what he was doing and why. Thank you very much for that. I don't know what to do about my life. I just want to continue doing my job, but I don't know. It's, it's well, a lot of problems at the moment is the people in the community and I'm, I'm, I'm stuck with people in, you know, I don't know. Well, I wish you all the best with it. I hope the rest of the day goes well. So, good to meet you. Do, do, do you think I'm doing the right thing? Just trying to continue and do do my job. If I'm doing the right thing. Um, I think if it makes you happy and you, and it allows you to survive, then yeah, that's the main thing. Isn't it? Then yeah. Uh, I'm earning money and be, so I'm able to survive. Yeah. If if it's working for you for that, then yeah. If it's making you unhappy, maybe not. That's where I stand. Then. Have a good one.